What's up folks, Rafi here, back with another random YouTube search episode. And this time it's gonna look a little bit different. We are going to use a word search. We're gonna play a game and find those magic words. All right, here we go. This is how this is gonna work. So uh, we're gonna use expert here. Okay, here's the word search. The first three words I find are gonna go in YouTube's search engine, okay? So the expert mode, basically, I don't get any hints. All right, so let's do this. Okay, the first three words that I find. Okay, so obviously they need to reflect at the uh, bottom here. So you can't just put any word, it won't work. Okay, uh, obviously I'm gonna be editing this, just to let you know. Book, nope. I know you guys probably see something that I don't. I'm going back. Ah, there you go. Quant, 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 quant. I'm gonna try this. Oh, I got something. <laughs> quantum. Quantum. Ah, there you go. Of course, quantum. Okay, next word. Route. Wow, I'm doing pretty bad. Meter. Oh, meter. Okay, we got two words here. All right, one more. Two again. Dratsumu. No. Nope. Frodo. Emmet. That's a word. No. Nope. Expert was not a good idea. Passbook? Okay, that was way harder than I thought. All right, on to the very first video of the episode. So this is the very first time we use this method here. So the words that I found in order was quantum, odometer, and passbook. All right, so let's see what we're gonna be getting here. Okay, so we got odometer fraud scheme, okay. 16,000 views, uh, four years ago, uh, WFLA, I guess this is Florida, I think, NBC or something, a news channel eight. Okay, uh, three minute long, all right. Uh, let's see what this uh, scheme is all about. The car dealer behind an odometer car dealer, of course, covered by Better Call Bankin and our investigation has 18 months to pay back her victims. 18 this months, woman, okay. Sereni Marin Vargas agreed to a deal to avoid 42 okay. felony counts. It 42 felony Bankin counts. Now, a plea deal. Yes, a wow. plea deal, Jen. Um, we have been investigating this for 15 She's in more months. trouble than me. It started with one bad deal, but we uncovered a very sophisticated scheme. And the okay. important thing to remember here is that at least four victims will so you did some reporting. high mileage cars and the nice. clock is ticking for Vargas to get her checkbook out okay, and Vargas. get full refunds. Disposition. 15 months after Better Call Bank and shined a big months. old light on crooked deals at this Tampa dealership, victim okay, I'm not going there. finally got to face the woman. Tampa preferred motors. That she wouldn't even look at me. Morgan describes no remorse, but Sorny Marin Vargas I don't had prefer to going there. to her actions, facing 42 felonies related Ooh, to odometer boy. fraud through Tampa. Odometer fraud. Motors, Vargas entered into Did she like trial intervention? Change the odometer, I guess. 18, 18 months. months. To pay back fifteen thousand. Look at that's not that bad. Her cars. It was the total that's of it? ten victims. 
Only four just like, looks like a Jamie Lee Curtis. Cooperated, got right? their money back, or getting their money back, and they get to keep their vehicles. Morgan turned to me for help after she bought this van on okay. Craigslist for five thousand. On Craigslist for five thousand dollar. One hundred eight thousand miles. Okay, one hundred eight. Night, she found a Carfax report. Carfax. The van had nearly one seventy seven. Okay. Miles. I exposed the deal yeah, but and everybody looks at Carfax now. Finding Vargas I mean, why would you lower the mileage? Her dealership, right? Changed titles, rolled back odometers, and resold yeah. the vehicles on Craigslist. It's like everybody checks Carfax now. Up with her months That's ago. so stupid of her. Say about your arrest? Morgan tells me that is the same smugness she saw when she was that? What, what was on the back Even of the van? So she's happy this nightmare is over. Okay. You helped me, like you said, track her down. You helped me. You. you that is Jamie Lee Curtis, guys. I'm serious. She is and what she's done, and for that I am very grateful. All right. It's worth noting that the Florida Department of Motor Vehicles tells mm -hmm. me Vargas's business license is still intact. Revoked. They now say what? That still intact. This case has gone to court. What do you mean? Pursuing revoking that license. Well, yeah. And state regulators aren't the only ones paying attention to Vargas's next move. So are we. What about the 11 cars that FHP confiscated? Well, I asked confiscated? That FHP today, okay. what's going to happen to these cars? We want to make sure that they're not going to FH be sold to the public hmm. again. And get this, Jen, they are going to keep those cars. They're going to be part of FHP's fleet. So I'm not sure exactly what's what they're going to FHP? Do with them. They're part of the Florida fleet. police? Hopefully they won't be out on the road, you know, needing mechanics. <laughs> exactly. Interesting. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much, Shannon. If you have a problem that needs solving, okay. better call Bankin. That number is I got a problem that needs solving. Bankin. Okay. I'm calling her. All right, time for the ratings. So first up, we got entertainment. Now, obviously, this is a uh, news uh, report, so it's not meant to be really entertaining, but uh, it's a decent story enough that I wanted to see exactly uh, what this uh, lady did here uh, to get arrested. Uh, so. Just for that, I can give it a 1 out of 5. All right, moving on to production. And, well, this story is your typical uh, 5 o'clock news. The way it looks and the way it's presented. Nothing bad, uh, but obviously it's not like a major story uh, that is like a 10 minute long with helicopters and all that and a SWAT team nothing like that so uh, for what it is the best I could do is a let's see I got two out of five and finally we got education okay so this is a pretty good story if you are going to buy a used car uh, basically you learn obviously to check Carfax that's that's as a must if you're buying a used car but I think a lot of people know about Carfax these days so it's not really news uh, just be vigilant basically if you're dealing with a used car dealer yeah there's a lot of scammers out there uh, and that's about it um, as far as education goes uh, the best I could do is a two out of five all right, so not a bad way to start, but let's see where this episode goes. All right, we are back at the word search. Here we go, expert again. All right, let's do this. So three more words. Thank God for editing, just to let you guys know. Uh, Lane, I don't think so. Wreck. Okay. Was that? Yeah. Wreck. Mm -hmm. uh, glucose. There we go. Okay. We're moving along here. Lord. We go okay this one was pretty quick and we got the three magic word wreck glucose and lakes 
to our second video here. Okay, anybody can guess what kind of video we're going to be getting here. Wreck Glucose and Lakes. Uh, it's like these words are so not related, so I, I have no idea. Let's see. What I learned tracking my blood sugar and why you should too. Okay, so something related to health. That's always good, right? 87,000 views a year ago by Kevin Jubal, MD. Okay, so he's a doctor, I guess. Okay, levels in bringing continuous glucose monitors, CGMs, okay, to the masses. That's right. CGMs are no longer just for diabetic patients. Okay. Uh, this is how long is that? Nine minute long. Okay. Uh, let's see what this doctor has to say. I wore this thing on my arm for four weeks, and it's actually what? one what of my that? favorite pieces of health optimizing what tech. In fact, it's already changing the entire world of wearables. And here's why. Uh, okay. What's going what on, that? guys? For those of you who are new here, my name is Kevin Jabal, physician entrepreneur based Kevin in Las Jabal. Vegas. You may know me as the guy from Vegas. that quit plastic surgery to go focus on some entrepreneurial dreams. So this is Levels, and they're bringing okay. continuous glucose monitors, or CGMs, to the masses. You mean YouTube this dreams. This technology approximates your blood sugar level by actually measuring your interstitial blood sugar, which is the fluid surrounding your cells. Interstitial? It has this tiny little filament to do so, oh. and every couple minutes, oh, it, it takes it, a reading and it then pierces your, your phone. Now, since your skin? CGMs first came out in the late okay. 1990s, they've been and almost exclusively monitors your blood or something. patients or those who have some metabolic dysfunction. But as we focus on health optimization and, and it's connected to your app, of course, we're beginning to realize that there's your a blood is connected to your app for freaky people as well. Now, the reason I'm using quote, there's this YouTube plaque healthy is that very nice. 8% of Americans have some level of metabolic dysfunction. It's crazy. 88% and no, being young or physically fit. I'm probably in there. Immune. So no, this is not a sponsored video. Unfortunately, if not you're healthy, sponsored. if you're young, if you don't have diabetes, you may be That's thinking, to hey, know, I guess. I'm healthy, like delayed long term. Is he going to a million times over jam time, here be with that guitar? If you want something immediate. What happens is you have hyperglycemia here we go. from all the charts. Cards, and then your body reacts Hyper to blah, blah, pumps something. out insulin, causing reactive hypoglycemia, meaning Hyper your blood sugar is too low. As a result, you feel tired and you can't focus. Medical words Even are too complicated for me. Two percent of your body weight, it burns through roughly 25 percent of your calories. And if you're studying really hard or doing other okay this guy is just throwing tasks, facts it can burn even more and non-stop focusing okay. on the mental performance benefits there's also definitely some physical performance benefits slow down buddy regards to extra world you don't need the clean about stuff. chips every now and then you'll have some processed food, chips okay carbohydrate heavy meals that holy crap look at that burger sugar. when your blood sugar rises your pancreas secretes insulin, which is a hormone pancreas causing that blood sugar to be taken uh -huh. up by the cells of the body. Insulate so that. Repeatedly having these higher levels of glucose and these higher levels you of recycle. insulin, you can develop insulin, insulin resistance, resistance. Which okay. metabolic syndrome, metabolic which syndrome leads to diabetes. Now, when insulin resistance happens, less sugar is taken up by the cells of the body. My God, so this guy's just throwing so much info. <laughs> also now have it's like the of flash of info. Now, these factors actually rooted in metabolic dysfunction. It's like your typical like doctor. Disease, stroke, they just diabetes, say diabetes, stuff and you don't anything. understand anything. Here's what good metabolic fitness looks like. After a meal, your blood okay. sugar doesn't spike. It just rises a little bit. Normal and metabolic after fitness. The meal, it actually falls back down quickly to baseline. Additionally, okay. over time, over the course of the day, so you gotta you be in, sugar to be erratic in this level place. here you want to be, to be healthy, I guess. Constant and in a relatively tight range. You probably cheat more than you should. The cool thing about using a continuous glucose monitor I'm a complete cheat cheat. is that, like, and vice versa, which is actually a big reason why the glycemic index isn't all that reliable. Cl now, okay. if you've learned anything so far, let me know with a thumbs up and I gently haven't. tap that subscribe button so it'll tap, tap, tap a room. Just tap it in. Tap it in. Give it a little tappy. Tap Some happy tappy. Gilmore. The order of the food you eat actually matters. Now, at most what? restaurants, your really? salad comes before your entree. The you order you matters. If you take two identical meals, you have the same veggies, the same protein, okay. the same carbohydrates. So what's the order you got to eat? Veggies first versus eating the carbs first. You're going to have two very different glycemic responses after doing an intense bike ride. So the more intense that bike ride was, you know what? I need to buy me a bike. I miss riding bikes. I'd go home, 
have two scoops of ice cream and some cookies. Last time I had a bike was spike. probably like was 30 crazy. years ago. This was actually really wild to see firsthand. So now if I am craving some sweets, which happens from time to time, hormone is released oh, by your pineal You know what? This is kind of too much to info. It also inhibits the order to eat, what time to eat, now, I didn't realize the how portion, the this, that. Jeez. I mean, you could go crazy trying to follow these things, now, right? This hyperglycemia and then the reactive hypoglycemia wreaks havoc on your sleep. And the way I've been able to quantify this is by using a sleep tracker. I use the Aura Ring. I mean, and that looks at HRV or heart rate variability. Oh, rate another rate, thing for your ring. Zones, temperature, a few other For your finger, a ring. Sleep, then you got something else on your actually patch on your shoulder. The up and down oh, my, my God. For the course of the whole next day. So rather than smooth, gradual changes, it was going all over the place. And that was even after just having five hours of sleep rather than I mean, more normal seven or eight. And finally, as I mentioned in my video on the five. I think the problem with this before, kind of I stuff, I think some people not a good habit can have mental issues. I'm serious. Surgery days when you interpret the results. I mean, if you want to sign up for levels and give it a try yourself, I got a custom link from them that's going to allow you to skip the line. Link down in the description. Additionally, I did two separate. You just said they're not the sponsored. What levels. happened? Now we have a link. And Dr. Casey Means. Oh, they're boy. amazing people. They started this amazing company. You're going to love them. You can check them out right here. Yeah, Much yeah. Love, and I'll see you guys there. All right. Time for the ratings. First up, we got entertainment. And unfortunately, I was really bored. Ugh. There was too many terms I didn't understand, and the pacing was so fast. Ah, man, for a nine-minute video, it's like he could have made this into like three videos. You know, he just condensed it so much. I, I, I just did not enjoy watching this. Uh, he added some Happy Gilmore, uh, you know, reference in there just to make it a bit more fun I guess but overall best I could do ah oh, man uh, I, I, I it's just like a zero out of five all right next up we got production and okay so this video is really well put together um, well edited uh, it's, it uses several icons on the screen, uh, text, uh, some graphs. Uh, he uses uh, stock footage uh, sparingly. So in this case, it works uh, well. You know, like I've had some videos before where, where it's just used too much. Um, yeah, no, overall, it's a well-made video. I'll give it a three out of five. And finally, we got education. And this is what the video is all about. Tracking basically your blood sugar um, and how to do it. So for people who are already in this lifestyle where you have to track every little thing you eat for them, hey, it's a great video. But for those who are unfamiliar with this stuff here, it, it will be very confusing just because there's so many terms out there. Um, okay, so overall, education, the best I could do is a three out of five. Okay, looks like we are keeping the same pace here, which is fine with me. And uh, let's see what we got next. All right, we are back at the word search. Here we go. Expert mode. Let's find those three magic words here. Okay, what do we got here? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Gleep. Hardy. Okay. Hardy Boys, that's a pretty good show if you guys know. Irish show. Okay. Let's see, next word. Oh, CAG. No. 
Muff. Muff. <gasps> worked. Okay. Muff. Detox. Here we go. Got him. So the order was hearty, muff, and detox. All right, on to video number three. So we got hearty, muff, and detox. I don't mind a clip from the Hardy Boys. I love that show, Muff. Um, I know Depeche Mode has a song called Big Muff. Um, I think that's a slang term, actually, Muff. For you guys search it, and you'll see detox. Okay, um, you know what? I don't know. Let's see. We got talk to someone today. A national helpline. Oh, oh, because I put detox, so it gives you a helpline number. Okay, that's cool. I I never knew about that. Okay, so the first video we get is fix broken headband hinge clip, ripped headband, beats by Dr. Dre. Pro tutorial how to. 13,000 views two years ago by Joe's Gaming and Electronics. Okay, so steps to fix your device. I guess these devices have some kind of problem. So it's a tutorial. 19 minutes. Wow, it probably goes into a lot of detail. All right, let's get to it and see if we can be entertained. That is a hey guys, well this is David worn with Joe's Gaming Electronics because here with the Beats Pro repair video. Today I'll be okay. showing you guys how to replace the Beats Pro headband weather and the this, slide I guess? adjuster. All parts and slide adjuster. Um included in this video are sold on our website, linked below. So Oh, he sells the parts. As you can tell this headband weather is yeah. pretty nasty. Come on, Dr. J. It's about time to replace it. Could have um, build a better quality than that. And also, if your hinge hinge slider isn't sticking or isn't firm and it keeps falling, oh it's yeah, like, uh, you know, wow. You can tell one side's good, one side. That's like an '80s problem, and you still have really it. Stay in place. Take the muff off. What I like to do is just cut oh, the okay. ear pad. Okay, so I guess that's the muff. Okay, it. on a headphone. Okay, I didn't know that. So you want to twist it. Clockwise, if you're if you're looking towards. Did you. that break? All right. I think Apple owns this uh, Dr. Dre now, right? This Beats Once brand. Once you got that ear pad removed, the whole operation what I'm here. uses a Phillips screwdriver here. Fast forward. So once you got that, these wires are just tucked into these grooves here. When you just see parts of an electronic equipment, it always looks so. Crappy. <laughs> Look at the All right. speakers are so tiny, and the wires are so cheap. So now we can see Crazy. this wire. Oh, here. the soldering it required. Oh no. This panel right here, as you can tell right here, so that's the only wire that you're going to be on soldering. So I mean, is this worth it? Soldering. Doing all this? And I'll recommend. It, How much um, writing are down or taking a photo are these the, new? These headphones. The wire orientation is going. Go ahead and unsolder. They're probably like what 200 bucks. I'm guessing. I think right, most people step, are just gonna trash to these things and use a pry tool. Just buy something else. To oh. push down. Because like the this. problem is most and people pop off. who want to fix this probably um, don't have some of these equipment, the so they have to go buy that too. Um, Soldering tool, pry tool. Then the actual so this band. Point, what we're gonna do is and the parts, wire through, kind of a thin and all these tools. You know, these screwdrivers are like up this very tiny ones. You know, you tab. can't just use any from your toolbox at home. You know, these are for like tiny little screws. So good for him to showing it at least. You know, just Unscrew to get an idea, screw. and then realizing it's better to buy a new one. Yeah, they're, they're putting it back together is another problem, right? No wonder Unscrew. this is 19 minutes. That way we can remove this leather. That's not leather. So I use a T5 screwdriver. It's a uh, full leather. <laughs> and this other side. Oh, 
Wait, what? So I'll go ahead and unscrew this. I thought you didn't have to clip. take out. Oh. Oh, because it's tucked in there. Okay, I see. Tab removed. Why is that head? Why did they use that material for the headband? I don't get it. Slide. How old right. are these headphones? Is this after Apple or before Apple? These were sold. I hope this is pre-Apple because if if this is made after Apple acquired so, them, this is pretty shitty. Looks like this clip here is broken. Oh which yeah, is why the headphones are falling and not staying adjusted. Yeah, because look at this cheap plastic. So we're gonna have, go ahead and replace look at that this little tiny, here. tiny little crack. It's like so, so narrow. We're gonna be using this. Where do you get these part parts? That we sell on our website. Oh, go ahead and check there you go. Out. You answered my question, bro. Uh, yeah, these are like disposable. All, all these new electronic, everything's just disposable. Right That's what they expect, you know. You can tell the wire should. Wow, it's a lot of work. I guess this is a pretty common problem since they're making a video and so selling parts for through. this. I mean, I guess it's not going to be an exciting video, right? And kind of scrape off. Oh, this see, he even wrote, "Are you a repair ninja? Buy the parts Pizza here." <laughs> Double-sided tape off the. Clips. I think they realize it's not for everybody. Go ahead and put some new tape on it. Twenty-four thousand subs, very nice. Oh, they have merchandise too. Some sweaters. Useful tutorial. Now I can replace ear pads with the new one. Thanks a lot. Very helpful and well explained. Thanks. Some on here too. Yeah, very niche. Uh, video here, but it does have thirteen thousand views. I hope you don't lose the screws. You're never gonna find those screws if you lose it. No. Oh. And you need a double-sided tape. tape. So he's fast-forwarding yeah. some parts. So this is probably longer than 20 minutes Neil. operation. Yeah, at least he has some background music here. Or else I would have fallen asleep by now. now I think you know where entertainment is going in this video. Look, even the pads here on your ear. They're worn out too. I mean, that goes on your ear. Isn't that like a bit more important? Because it flakes out. You know, the problem is with that. These things here, the paint, the white paint flakes and stays on your ears. Oh, I see your head, bro. Ah. Ah. Okay, the camera is above your head. I thought the camera was implanted in your eyes. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, looks good. that part looks is it was better than the original. I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee right now. Plastic piece here. Slide that through. Ah. Uh, all right. Now I can wake up. Hey, that's a cup holder. Slide the wire. So I start with. Okay. Screwdriver. We're getting there. And then I'm See, I told you it's a cup holder. One to kind of tighten it more there we up. go. Just leave that in your yep. car. Put a drink in there. Cup holder by Dr. Dre. Leave this wire through. Can you believe Apple cup holder? Sorry. How much would that be? Like 300 bucks. And now. Oh shit, I just gave them an idea. Twist these wires together. All right. We're getting there. Those are some tiny ass wires. Goes next I can her. never do this part. My fingers are too big. How much did Dr. Right. Dre made from this brand? You can install the ear muff back on. There's the muffs. All you do is big the muff. And that should be on. What? That's it? And what the hell did that stick on? B7000. Oh, is recommended. that was glued? Also sold at the store. Man, you need a lot of parts, yeah, huh? A little bit. Let it dry. There you have it. A Beats Pro headband leather replacement and a headband adjuster clip replacement. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and comment down yeah, below. Yeah, I guess Those replacing are the these are the the, your questions. the muffs are pretty and simple, I guess. Don't forget, we do as sell, long as they parts sell it on our website, also linked below. Have a good day. Okay, thank you, sir. All right, time for the ratings. First up, we got entertainment and yeah. Ah, oh boy, we got back-to-back -back boring 
ASS videos. Ah, boy. Uh, well, obviously, this is not the point of this video. It is just a tutorial. And you literally just see a headphone and a hand working. That's it. The only entertaining thing was when the head popped out. That was it. A zero out of five. All right. Up next is production. And well, this video was, I believe, unedited. Uh, he just recorded beginning to end the entire tutorial. And so obviously, I mean, there was just a camera that was a static camera there. Uh, that's it. Um, yeah, I can't give any points. Zero out of five. And finally, we got education, which is what this video is really about. Uh, but for me, it seems like the people who are going to look at this video and realize that requires so much work uh, and tools, you know, they may not even have the tools, uh, will probably just be like, you know what, let me just get a new headphone. But for those who want to actually replace it, it's a really good video. It does go into a lot of detail, specific details on how to do it. Like I said, there was no cuts, so you could clearly see how it's done. That being said, uh, as far as education goes, uh, this is a tough one. Uh, the best I could do, again, because it's such a specific thing for a very small crowd, and he's also selling the parts, uh, I can give it a, a 3 out of 5. Okay, and just like that, we got back-to-back -back videos that were just not very fun to watch. Hopefully, we'll get some entertainment from the next video. I'm crossing my fingers here. All right, time to search for video number four. Okay, so three more words. Let's do this in under 10 seconds. Probably not. Um, here we go. Here we go. I see something here. Hold on, hold on. Uh, okay, I see something here. Co cover? Come on. Famu ring. <laughs> okay, I know, I know you guys see something already, and I'm going blind here. I'm just seeing random letters. Uh, come on. Uh oh, this is embarrassing. Fatu. Oh my god. Alright, we got strip. Obviously, that's the first word I find. Okay, and the last word is what? Cord. Oh yeah, scored. What? Scored. Poet. Seething. Here we go. Okay. All right. Let's search for the next video. Here we go. Okay. I'm hoping that the word strip is going to precede the other two here in the algorithm. Let's see if we get lucky. 
Mm, nope. Okay, how to pick up a mooring at Catalina Island. 31,000 views a year ago. Newport Coast Maritime Academy. Okay, live action and animated overview of how to pick up and drop a mooring in Avalon. Okay, I've been to Avalon twice. First time we just went fishing. Uh, I didn't go on the island. And the second time uh, was like a little trip with the ferry. Uh, fun little place. Uh, 10 minutes long. Okay, let's see. We never moored, so this is new to me. Hi, I'm Jackson Willett with Newport hey Coast there, Maritime Jackson. Academy. Today we're going to demonstrate and Bob. how to pick up and drop a mooring okay. at Catalina Island in Southern California. Hey, the vessel that's good. we're going to be training on is a 2020 Nevada 48, generously provided by our friends at CNET Yacht Sales here in Newport Beach. Oh, it's for sale too. Pick up a mooring in Catalina. Yacht is Sales. Two-person okay. job. So joining me today is my friend and fellow instructor, yeah. Captain Bob Armstrong. Hi. Hey, Captain. Hey Bob, you ready to go to the island and pick up a mooring? I'm ready to go to the island. He's a bit nervous. Let's go do it. That's okay. The two most popular. That's a nice little Catalina boat island there. With moorings available to the public. Man, that's the life. Avalon Harbor. And Being on the sea, Cove. not giving Today's a chair. Today's is in Avalon Harbor, located right, near the eastern go. end of the island, approximately 26 nautical miles from Newport Beach. Yeah. The harbor is patrolled by the city of Avalon. It's a fun. Harbor this place department. is fun for a day. It's a small island. A first come, first serve basis. Not too much to see. Upon your arrival at the harbor entrance, as you approach the harbor, look for the patrol boat. Yeah, there's a there's a beach the here. There's entrance. some sand. Not much. Slowly approach the patrol boat. Okay. Once you're here we go. A few boat lengths away, stop your vessel and wait for the officer to approach you. Okay. During the summer season, you may have to wait while other vessels that Summer's arrive busy. before you complete their check-in. Yep. First because come, first serve. Because are assigned on a first come, first serve oh, basis. there you go. <laughs> the earlier you arrive, the better chance you have of getting a mooring. However, Sounds due good. to the high volume of visitors on holiday weekends so, in the summer, an early arrival mm -hmm. does not guarantee a mooring assignment. Oh, wow. When so the what happens then? boat pulls alongside, you'll need to provide the following information. Okay. One. Vessel One. documentation number. Two. Documentation vessel number. Length. And vessel three, length. Vessel okay. name. Vessel name. Then oh, so okay, the I see. On your row closest to the main oh, channel. okay. So it's, this is the mooring wow. that marks where you will turn A lot of boats can field. go in there. But before okay. we enter the harbor, let's walk through the process with this animated video. Animated from video, our baby. Novamar Insurance. Insurance, okay. A so. Catalina mooring is composed of five key elements. Five First key elements. First is the mooring can. A blue and white metal can. Okay, so floating mooring on the can. surface of the water. Yeah, I saw Second those. Second is the pickup pole. A four to okay, five so foot that's called the pickup pole. attached to a small buoy. Got it. Floating upright yeah. on the surface Floats. of the water. Third is the bow hawser. A thick yellow braid with a large loop at the end suspended below the Isn't surface of the Fatal water Fury by character? the pickup pole. Fourth is the stern the hawser. Another thick braided yellow line that lies the on the seabed back. and is connected to the sand line. The Just stern in case you didn't is what know. secures the stern of the vessel. I'm thinking if when I had a boat, what ball, would I call the it? The captain maneuvers the bow of the vessel to within arm's um, reach of the pickup pole and maintains position, while crew secures the vessel's bow and stern to the mooring. I'm still thinking. The captain's ability to maintain vessel position. I should follow this video, but my mind is thinking of what to call my boat. While the captain maintains position I'm gonna get so much arms success with YouTube, pole, I'm going to have a yacht, the not pole, even a boat. And the attached pickup I'm going to call it out of the, water to gain access to the loop in the bow The muff line. diver. Okay, slack goes back Once in. Once crew is approximately one third of the distance to the stern, the captain should place engines in neutral to prevent fouling a prop with a mooring line. Okay. While continuing to walk aft so, wait, to the stern, uh, once you continues to pick up finish the this operation, how do you get on, on the shore? Water. At this point, the captain can choose Swim. to leave the helm. Let's go into the harbor and do this for real. Once captain, oh yeah, have agreed on a plan to approach the. You morning, can't beat for real. Pilots the vessel down the main channel. That's it's a nice boat. I want one. To read the mooring number. Jeez, look at that binocular. Remember, Jesus, what is the that? The first mooring you're looking for. Oh my is God! The it's like the <laughs> for the army or something. Into the mooring field. Find mooring. See, those As little things are the. the oh, road, what were they called again? Can assist the captain. The can. Something can. For the assigned mooring. Slowly yeah. Cap If you're a captain, you gotta be on top, Once right? Makes contact with the pole I mean, you're the damn captain here. And hold position. That's probably several beds underneath here. out of the water. Nice the damn boat. Mooring process, How much is this boat? To keep your vessel lined up this is like at least $100,000, I'm guessing. 
crew pulls the pole out of the water to reach the bow hawser. A thick break one day, one day I'll have that kind of money to end. spend on a boat. Reaching under any lifelines or bow rails. Not this lifetime, in a different the lifetime. The bow hawser to the Maybe bow my next boots. lifetime. Once the bow hawser is secured. Crew locates the sand line. I could probably afford the, the, the rope. Just below the loop. After taking hold of the sand line, crew faces aft and pulls up as much slack as possible. Keep going. Dropping what has been picked Whoa. Up back into the camera the fell in the water. This can be a messy job. So okay, dress good thing appropriately you have two cameras. and wear gloves to protect your hands. Good idea. Wear gloves. While continuing to pull up the sand line. Crew Keep pulling it. Aft. I can't swim, but I love the, the, running, the and after a ready signal from the captain life. at the helm, crew removes the stern hawser. From I want to be a pirate that can't swim. Releases it into the water. Once the hawser has disappeared, crew thumbs up. The captain, the All right, Roger Ebert. Once the captain hears the stern clear signal, the engines and thrusters can be used. Uh, I guess see the patrol the here, the harbor patrol. I, I guess to remove the bow hawser. You go, you, you on jump the bow, on their boat and they take you to the shore. I guess. Removes the hawser right. from the cleat and releases the hawser into the water. Remembering to visually observe the hawser sink below the surface. Once the bow hawser and pick that was fun. are in the water, crew oh, another the thumbs up. Okay, the Cisco is clear. The captain then maneuvers away from the mooring and pilots the vessel there he goes. Out of the mooring field. See ya. I'm here with JJ Poindexter, the harbor master. The mooring field, not the mining field. JJ. Any key points that JJ you Poindexter. For the first time? Yes. The uh, now, first couple of He looks like a harbor master. Our, uh, radio frequency we monitor channel 12 and 16. It's like he was born for that job. 16 is for emergency. 12 16 is, is for emergency, 12 questions to ask. Uh, okay, remember that. Go by smoother. Just um, have your documentation, documentation numbers, numbers ready. ready. Have the uh, your uh, credit card ready and they'll uh, Hey, why do you uh, stutter on credit cards? Cuz you know people don't want to pay. If you're the first timer here, Please let us know. Our staff's staff here to help. help. Well, listen, thanks to, you, to you and your staff for helping us out today, and we really appreciate your time. Well, appreciate the time too. Thank you very much. All right, that was pretty cool. All right, it's time for the ratings. First up, we got entertainment. And you know, whenever you see an island, the ocean, and boats, there's just some something about it so relaxing, right? So I always enjoy these videos. Um, as as I did this one, um, it's the way it was done is 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 great. The pacing and th there was even animation in there, just to make it a little bit more interesting, you know. Um, yeah, I, I had fun watching this. Uh, I'll give it a um, two out of five. Next up, we got production and. It is a really well-made video. Some great camera work, some aerial shots. Uh, there was even some underwater shots. Uh, camera was following along the crew w when they were doing their thing. Um, it even had some animation in there. So yeah, well done. Uh, I'll give it a three out of five. And finally, we got education. And this is what this video is made for, uh, so that people who's never uh, moored their boats uh, get an overview on how to do it. Uh, and it explains in detail. Uh, in, in fact, there's twice it's done once with animation and then with the real boat. Uh, which is really great so the only thing that confused me is how do you get on shore i'm assuming the the har harbor patrol comes and picks you up i guess and then takes you there but but it, it, it never touches on that for some reason right i mean you think that would be part of it i i you know oh well um score wise let's give it a four out of five all right, I'm glad we ended on a high note. Thank you, Lord. And the grand champion of the episode is the Mooring at Catalina Island video. And second is the blood sugar tracking, followed closely by the odometer fraud. And in dead last is the headband repair. 
If you guys want to watch any of those videos unedited, links are below. And I will see you probably on the next episode. Adios, muchachos.